Welcome to another video. Over 900 subscribers, I'm really happy that there is interest in the channel and especially that there is interest in amateur astronomy. This is what keeps me going. I want to cover most of the really important topics so that if somebody discovers this channel 2, 3, 5 years down the road, they can just watch a list of 15, 20 videos and be fully ready to go out in the field and enjoy the telescopes. Today I want to cover Barlow's. The reason I want to cover Barlow's is I've been seeing a lot of misconceptions, a lot of bad information out there online. I see a lot of people overpaying for Barlow's. You don't really need to. So let's start. If you have a look at my eyepiece collection, you will notice some interesting things. Sky Rover, $180. Explore Scientific, or also called MaxiVision, $120. $75, the zoom, $75. Barlow's, $16, $15. So what's going on? Why did I buy so much expensive eyepieces and I'm using these cheap Barlow's? Let's find out. What you see here is a 2 Barlow and a 3 Barlow. What exactly is a Barlow? What you need to understand is there can be several types of Barlow's based on the elements that have been used. We have the simplest of simplest Barlow's. It has only one element. These should be generally avoided and most of the time you have probably gotten them with your telescope. You can pretty much throw them away. And I think this is the main reason why Barlow's get such bad reputation. A lot of people have gotten a Barlow some time ago with their telescope. It's poor quality, it's bad. Uh, messes up the image and they throw it away. Another reason why Barlow's get bad reputation is because people do not understand magnification and the effects of magnification. Whenever you magnify by 2, the brightness of the image falls down by 4. You know, it's kind of easy to understand because if you magnify by 2, the area actually grows by 4, so this means you have 4 times less light. So A, so whenever we magnify, the brightness falls down. That's normal, that's to be expected. But also the resolution of the image will fall down. So people put a Barlow with their fixed eyepiece, they find out that the image has degraded quality and they think it's because of the Barlow. That is not true. If you put an eyepiece with higher magnification, then of course it will have the same effect on the image quality. Now what I have in my hands are Barlows with two lenses and these are more than enough for the majority of uses you will have, especially if you are doing visual observation with relatively nice eyepieces. Now the way a Barlow works is simply you have this small element and depending on how far you put the eyepiece here it will magnify as much. The only difference we can see between a 2 Barlow and a 3 Barlow is their different length. And this is actually the most recommended best value for money you can buy two element barlows especially if you have a reflector you're, you're not limited with the depth to which you can put the barlow now next on the list are barlows with three elements also called short barlows you may think that just because you're paying 50 60 dollars for a barlow you're, it's going to be better than this one no not at all what you're paying in the shorty barlow is just that. You're paying for something which is smaller. It's more, I would say, elegant. It doesn't uh, protrude just as much from the telescope. But also it's important if you have a refractor and it has a short diagonal, you will not be even able to use these long ones. It may uh, bump into a diagonal. In that case, uh, you can use a shorty barlow. Then you have Barlow, which has four elements. In this case, it's no longer even called a Barlow, it's called a telecentric uh, uh, Barlow. And in this case, it is increasing the image, plus it has an extra lens so that uh, it doesn't increase also the uh, exit eye distance. Because typically, when you use this kind of a Barlow, it will increase the exit uh, pupil distance. 
Now this can be quite in handy for an eyepiece like this one. This is uh, the Explore Scientific uh, 82 degrees or also I have it under the max vision. You really need to put your eye very close in order to see the full uh, field. So when I put this one into a 2 barlow, guess what happens? It has an added effect of increasing the exit pupil. So then I don't have to push my uh, hand so just as close. I can observe for a little, from a little bit more nice distance because the parallel has shifted the exit time. So in this regard it's really 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 nice. Now what some people do not understand is that Barlow's sometimes are integrated inside the eyepiece. So even if you think even if you think that you are buying a nice fixed eyepiece and you're avoiding a barlow, not quite it usually includes a lens very, very similar to the Barlow one. If you don't believe me, we are going to take one apart and have a look what's inside. Do not try this at home. Yeah? You may mess up your eyepieces. This is the lens that you have in a Barlow. This is the lens that you have in a fixed eye piece. It's a little bit uh, thicker, but other than that, the effect is very, very similar. It's a negative lens. So even if you feel you don't have a Barlow in your eye piece, typically you do have a Barlow in your eye piece. Now, another thing which is very, very nice for a Barlow is it it should be unscrewable. If you unscrew the bottom of a barlow and you screw it to any kind of an eyepiece, you're going to achieve 1.5 magnification, not 2 and not 3. There we have it. Really nice to have and when you're buying a barlow, make sure it has an unscrewable element at the bottom. Because the bottle works by distance. If you put it at a higher distance, it will have higher magnification. This way you can reach magnifications of up to 5 if you put it really, really far. And you'll find out that some of these are really, really long. But what you can also even do, you can put a parallel into the parallel and then you will achieve 2 times 3, 6 times magnification. Not really useful in real life situations, but it can be done in case you want to increase by six times during some crazy night for excellent seeing. Now, what are the disadvantages of Barlow? Like real disadvantages, not just misconceptions. Well, one of the disadvantages, based on who you ask, is it will increase that uh, exit eye. Now, if you have an eyepiece, of course, which already has a pretty distant exit pupil, it's going to make it even more distant, so you may uh, not feel very, very comfortable with that. But this one is pretty far and honestly, I have not had any problems borrowing it uh, as well. It's really, really comfortable. Now, another, uh, I would say, downside is uh, if you want to borrow something like a 25 millimeter, it may not be ideal. Maybe you will have some dignity because especially that uh, 25, 20 millimeter is very wide field because you're not going to have enough light uh, to hit it. In that case, it's simply recommended to buy a 2-inch parallel which will get more light and focus it where you need to focus it. But other than that, barrowing 14mm, 11mm to get down to 5, uh, 7, 8, really, really recommended. And as you can see, I don't have an eyepiece, uh, fixed eyepiece below 11mm. I just don't find it necessary. Every time I want to increase magnification, I just borrow this one, the 11 mm or even better, I can just borrow the zoom. In that case, I shift the zoom range downward and just focus on something like a planet to the perfect magnification that I need it to be. Now, another disadvantage uh, is aesthetics. And most of the astronomers I see online, they don't avoid the barlows because of bad image, but because it doesn't look as nice into the telescope uh, focuser. 
If I use this one, it's even better. It fits really nice in the focuser, it's very elegant, yeah? And I agree, it just feels nice to use, it's really great. If I put it into a parallel, especially this kind of a big eyepiece, already it kind of looks strange. <laughs> if I put it into the focuser, I mean, see, it's protruding. It's a little bit messy here, I mean, it's not the ideal setup. So that's the only downside I can think of when using barrels. They just don't look as good. But let's be honest, in the dark, when you can't see anything anyway, the last thing you care about is how the tele telescope looks like. And that is really it. Not much else to write home about. You may also see some special barrels with uh, special glass, like low dispersion glass. I wouldn't necessarily pay extra premium unless you are doing high detail photography with something like a big uh, telescope SCP. Should you buy a shorty Barlow? Again, to be honest, I wouldn't buy it, I wouldn't waste my money on it. More than enough is to make sure it has two elements and you're able to unscrew it so then you can have a magnification of 1.5 as well. What about so-called apochromatic and uh, achromatic Barlow? It's complete nonsense. Uh, the colors will not shift much because, uh, long story short, it's all about the distance from the focal plane to the, uh, to the lens and in this case it's very 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 small, so as long as you have two element Barlow, it is already apochromatic. You don't need three element Barlow. In fact, a short Barlow will likely introduce more mistakes into the image because the rays have to be sharper because it's shorter that's why you need another element long story short you have more elements more room for mistakes chances are it can produce a worse image than a normal two element barrel so yeah don't be afraid to buy a barrel just because it costs 15 dollars one of the guys i was recommending to him hey buy the celestial anomaly 2 it's pretty nice he said i don't want to buy it because it's too cheap <laughs> you really don't need to spend too much money and I don't think it's too cheap. $15 for just this small lens, I think it's okay. Yeah, because this one costs $85, it has uh, three more big lenses inside plus the small one. I think that's a pretty nice reasonable price, $15 for a small lens. That's all that the barrel is. Have a great day, hit like if you liked it, hit subscribe, we have more videos incoming. I even got some more sponsors interested, I'm not seeking them out, they said we have some nice products, we want to show them off, I said under one condition, it has to be a really nice product, I don't want any money, just send it over, I'll review it, I'll have a look, if it's good for me, if it's good for you guys, no issues there. Talk to you next time, over and out, time to go to sleep, probably.